Hello friends, welcome to Fox Show Tech. Today we're going to see one of the major issue you, you, you may encounter on when you are working on the Kubernetes or when you are trying to set up any kind of a large setup. Uh, panic first, let's say like if you want to set up the Prometheus, you may experience this. Similarly, there is a multiple files or multiple configurations having a large manifest and whenever we use that we may get this error when we are apply from our local right so how to fix this we're gonna see this and also we're gonna give the solution based on argo cd okay so mostly the solution will be similar uh you can play, apply directly even with your uh, standard to kubectl command or you can use the argo cd to fix this right so let's understand that uh, what is this error and how it supplies? So whenever we apply any kind of applications, so how this works, so this works based on the, uh, whenever you do your kubectl, so you apply through the, from your local, and that is nothing but as a, called as a client. And how the client works, let's take like any kind of a manifest. If you see it's applied through the local or the client side, you may see there is a last configuration last applied configurations, right? So when you see that, that means like the application has been cre created using your kubectl uh, command. So let me show you this. And I don't think so. This will have the manifest details. Let's check the service will have this. Or you may seen by default, okay? So I'm trying to show you, okay, that this is one. So when you see this, last applied configuration. That means the application has been deployed using a kubectl. You can see the kubectl. And this is how the client side applies works. But there is a problem. Let's assume like you are working with a shared project and there is a multiple team is working on the same things or multiple team members are maintaining the same resource or the same application, right? So today you have seen some error or you want to modify something and you are applying the changes, right? Same time, if someone is applying a changes, it automatically get deducted. And what happens, there will be a highly chance, there will be a misconfiguration, or it won't show any kind of errors because it's responsible for the Kubernetes. Is whatever the client says, it has to be listened and apply the changes. You are applying a solution A, and your friend is applying a solution B, in the sense, whoever applied last, that will be applied to the server. Right, so this will be a bit hard part, right? Because you are working on your own solution, you may work on the document, or you your work solution will be good. There is another member if they are working that may be. I'm not saying they are wrong, but there will be a highly possible they may trying a different way, and that may be no. There is a highly chance that may go wrong, right? So to avoid that conflict and those things, how we can fix this? So let's say like let's not be apply the changes. Let's consider the let server applies. Doesn't mean again we are not going to say server should apply the changes. Okay, there is some kind of a configuration change we have to do it. What happens? What we have to do? So we need to add additional uh, flag whenever you are running apply command, right? So normally how we apply any kind of a file. Let's say like uh, my configuration is test start. Yeah, I want to apply this. How do you apply? kubectl apply iphone app test.yaml, right? Right. This is how we apply the files. Let's say like uh, this is for client side. Apply. Okay. If you run this, let's assume like we want same file should be applied through server side. Okay. It's a so simple, same command. There is no difference. Let me copy this. And let's add a flag, okay, server side. If you add this flag, server side, this will consider as a server will be apply the changes. So what happens whenever you apply this file, it will take a different diff between the changes, whatever you apply. Let's say like the person EA is applying a test with replica two, and there is a change it's coming for replica three, okay. What Argo CD, sorry, any cube server cube, Kubernetes does, it runs the in between from server side. It check the kube diff command for the file. 
and identify the change between current one. So current one where it takes, it uh, takes from the last applied change configuration, right? So it refers the details from the server current one, what are the details it has in the configuration. And based on that, it will check the new changes. If there is something is conflicting or someone is trying to modify, what it does, it throw you the error called conflicts and the changes will be deferred. Right. So with that, what happens? We can avoid one way of conflict also. And other ways, so let's come to the actual topic. That is the one advantage of server side. Another advantage in the client side, we do have a limitation of selected bytes. Okay, so there is a limited byte. I don't have current data, but if I found, I will add it to my blog. So this data, there is a limited bytes. And when you apply from the client side, your server will throw, hey, this is not my wish. Uh, this I can't apply. The file is so long and it throw you the error. This like this, it shows. Okay, so let's reproduce this with some Argo City application. Let me show you how it works. So the first action is let's reproduce it and see the error. So how we can reproduce it? I have already the uh, application file I have created to demonstrate this video. Let me open it in my terminal. I'm logging into my terminal. Okay, so this is my terminal and server dot, sorry. Yeah, right. Okay, so not this, then where is this file? Let me see that file is. Okay, let's not waste our time. Let me take the file from my desktop. I'm putting a file name called from.yaml and I'm just doing a name and let's do this. So what we are going to do in this. So we're gonna say not this, not this, not this. Sorry for the delay. Let me connect quickly. Auto CD. As it's for the Argo CD, I just stored in this sync, and we're gonna test for the options. I'm showing you on the option side, and this is for server side. I have this file over here. And this is the application we're going to create. So this application is nothing but it creates us, help us to create a Prometheus uh, stack on our system. So let me apply this. I'm applying this change. If you wish, you can just do the change directly. Uh, directly from the repository you can create, but I'm just showing you in the example like this. Okay, so let me apply this change. QCTL apply icon app. Sorry, from dot yaml. So let this application created. This is the application. Okay, well, so this is the application we have created now, right? So let me sync it now. I did. I have disabled auto sync to show this. So to avoid the confusion. So let me show this. And now you should see the error will occur with the error, whatever we are discussing. So let's wait for it to be reproduced. And why this happens again, if you see this kubectl, sorry, the manifest for the Prometheus, it has more number of configuration and the file size will be very huge. And when we apply from a local, it is so hard to give this bytes because the defined file size is more than what I expected, okay? 
So if you see the sync error, so this shows like uh, this is error too long and must have almost two six one four eight bytes, right? So that is the error we were seeing in our block. So let me open the notepad and this is the error we pre-produced it, correct? Okay, well, so let me show that again. So this is the error. How are we gonna fix it? So let's fix it by easy option. So what I'm gonna do, so even you can do it here. So edit this and you can see the server side apply directly or for add, tracking this, what we can do. So better option is, so because we always recommend for the GitHub's way, we don't want to do anything uh, non GitHub's way because it should be a single source of truth because any manual change may be issue for us in a future, we may lose the instance. And if you do any direct configuration, there is high option, like we may miss that required options. So that will be big issue for us to avoid that. What I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna store this file here, sorry. And what it will do, so let's apply the server. So make sure the spelling and the case sensitive thing so you need to use a capital wherever there is a need and uh, wherever there is a small letters you should use it so you know better but just in case so let's save this and i'm gonna reapply this change and that stack has been configured now let's try to reproduce it sorry resync it so i'm gonna sync it you could see in a minute this sync status will be turned to be healthy and application status also will turn to be healthy. It started syncing. You can see number of resources it's created and there is a more number of resources there and you can see the deployment is happening now and well and good so we're gonna see the all the stacks to be deployed so let's wait for a minute to turn to the healthy state okay every resources are coming to healthy state Ah, oh, there is some more issue screen. Okay, something wrong still. Some services in progress, no progress is here. Okay, all are healthy. Let me refresh the page. It's getting fresh. I think my connection is slow, sorry for that.
Okay, perfect. So you can see now the issue has been fixed after we do the server side apply. And this is how you can apply it. So it will be so simple for you to manage via Argo CD and also you can see what other change you are performing with the sync status and history. And this will be so easy for you guys. You can try with Argo CD. So even though if you are not using Argo CD, you can use this flag. So as I said, with the server side and you can apply the file. So that, that should help you to say, fix this error, right? Hope this video is helpful for, for you guys. So please keep visitors and subscribers and there is more videos are coming on the advanced topic. Stay tuned. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Bye-bye.